I was very enthusiastic about being a priest. I was jumped right in for the work. Everybody looks for retirement. Retirement is the last thing I want to do. I'm a fanatical devotee of the Bible, as you know. And when I really get into it, I feel like I'm uh, most completely myself. I have no regrets and I'm exactly where the Lord wants me to be. An experience which I remember still vividly is through confession. A man went to confession and he, he was very repentant about his life. And then the joy of sharing the mercy of God and that he was relieved. And so having that opportunity to, to have helped him experience God's mercy, that was a very rewarding experience. Preaching is wonderful because it challenges you emotionally. Are you up to it? It's like, showtime, baby! <laughs> and that's what I really got to love about it. And it drives any kind of thing I fear away. After about six months, something was changing. I was no longer doing things for people. I would begin to be part of their lives because I was falling in love with them. I didn't expect that. Uh, and after a while, it became a ministry of relationship, not a ministry of function. And that's been my story of my life since then. I love to preach. My mother and father would go from when I was a little boy, they'd leave the church and they would discuss the sermons. My father was a great connoisseur of preachers. <laughs> he, and uh, so preaching was very early in my mind. My uncle used to love to preach. He had a very soft voice. Uh, but uh, so preaching is the, has been the dominant theme of my priesthood. And I feel a difficult moment. I recall the passion of Jesus. Jesus is sharing his sorrow with me. You know, I'm his friend. He's letting me share in this sorrow. Because of that sharing, I get to know Jesus all the better. And it brings the two of us closer. I had a priest friend of mine who was uh, ordained uh, 50 years himself. But one thing he said, the young people were really impressed when they saw an old timer like himself uh, talk about uh, how exciting the priesthood was after all these years. And my only regret is that I don't have another 50 years to keep on going. I really dread the day when I can't preach anymore. It is very powerful. Faith comes through preaching. Boy, do we need the faith today. One lady, I was writing some letters and the articles in the Bolton, and she said, Father, you're a good writer, you should do this full time. Then she said, maybe not. Maybe it's your ideas for being with us. I said, you got it. They inspired me, they uplifted me, challenged me, but uh, I got to know them, love them, and uh, celebrate with them, cry with them. Uh, just walking with them in their journey of faith, and it's uh, an honor, a privilege, and a 